Aloha and welcome to the Hawaii Vacation Connection. I'm Aloha Bruce. How's it going? You got Lanai. Thanks for tuning in. We got an excellent podcast for you today. We're going to be talking about Hawaii do's and don'ts. We yes, got a lot of those. Those are important. And we're also going to be talking about what it's going to like post pandemic. Is that what we're calling it? Or pre pandemic? What is it? Post pandemic? Well, you call it whatever you want. But call nowadays. it whatever you want. What yeah. it's going to be like if you're going to be traveling here during COVID 19. And I've got to do that at least five times in the past month. Uh, you, I think more. I'm an expert. You're an expert. So you can, yeah. you can give us your Scoop. I'll give you the insight. Give us the insight out of this. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Hawaii Aloha Travel and the Star Advertiser and Hawaii.com. Yes, it's going to be a good podcast because we also got a deal of the week coming up at the end of the show. Mm-hmm. So make sure you're paying attention. We're going to give you a deal if you're traveling to Hawaii. Yes, yes. Stay tuned for that coming up right shortly here. Yeah. So let's get into it a little bit. Let's talk about um, some Hawaii do's and don'ts. I have a few written down, but I want you to just go go for it. And I think the the biggest thing uh, people don't like when you come to Hawaii is disrespect. So this is a don't. This is a don't. Okay. Did, did you want to start with the do's? I don't care. Don't, don't dis. Well, I think you, you should start with the don'ts because then you'll know what to do. Yeah, let's do that. Good <laughs> right? idea. Yeah, yeah. Let's um, go for that. Okay. Just be respectful of the land mm-hmm. and the aina. You know, the land we say the aina. A lot of people come here and. You know, think you can throw your cigarette butt on the ground. We don't do that. It's a very clean place. We we uh, always respect the land. We have a, a term called malama daina. Take care of the land, and yeah. the land will take care of you. And I think that's especially important now yeah. when we're going to talk about you know coming here during COVID right. because that's now the new slogan for Hawaii, malama yeah. Hawaii, right? Yeah. And explain to people what that means. It's really about taking care of each other, the land, and where we are. Because once you do that, home base is covered. I was going to say, once you take care of the land, everything kind of just falls into place. Yes. You know what I mean? It's all yeah. about respect. It is. And you know when you come here, it's very clean, mm-hmm. right? It's uh, people let you in. We don't cut you off when you drive. We don't use our horns. That's another don't. Right. That's we a don't big use... don't. That's a big don't. <laughs> we use it just for horn. emergencies and to say hi. Yes. You know, a short beep beep. That's a how's it. And, and let I, them in. And I just think in general, respecting, we want respectful visitors. Here. Yeah. And, you know, I tell clients, you know, they ask me about that. I want to be really, you know, I want to make sure I, you know, respect the culture here. And yeah. I just say to people, don't do stupid things. Yeah. I mean, just don't do anything stupid. And You'll I be think, fine. And I think right now, when you talk about respecting the Aina or where we live, is mask is a big one right now. Yeah. You know, I see people So posting, do wear a mask. There's a yes, do. This yes. is going to be all over the place, yeah. as usual with us. And, and it's, it's important because right now, that's what's topical, right? Right. And if you're eating, obviously, you're not going to use a mask. And if you're at the beach, obviously, you're six feet away from somebody, you're not going to wear a mask. Mm-hmm. But it's not about you. It's about other people. We have a lot of what we say, kupuna, yep. elderly here. And we're trying to protect them. Mm-hmm. Um, I think everyone's on the same page with that. Yeah, we're going to get into some of that stuff, too, yeah. in the next segment. So um, the other thing is don't assume everybody is on, you know, is, is on your time. People yeah. here are on Hawaii time. Yeah. You know, don't we're, assume we're everybody. We're not in a rush. Yeah. People in Hawaii have things to do, too. You yeah. know, we have to go places, too. But don't. So what I'm saying is don't assume everybody is on Hawaiian time, on yeah. your vacation time. Right. You know, I'm, right. I'm just saying, you know. Well, I think when you go on vacation, you forget about that and you just have this entitlement i think sometimes yeah or you think yeah, you have this entitlement. exactly we've talked yeah. about that before you know yeah. don't you know you're on vacation you know but that doesn't mean you're entitled to this anything. isn't bali <laughs> you know like when you go people go to bali they get drunk they get nuts and then yes. half of them are in jail yes i know <laughs> <laughs> the other one thing is please don't forget to tip yeah. You know, yeah. and remember where to tip. You know, this is important. You know, um, some people forget to tip in certain places. This is a, a very, uh, a, a place where people take care of each other. And we're, we're in a place where 90% of our our community is all working in the, you know, in the hospitality, hospitality industry. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to take care of them and they'll take care of you. Yes. That's yes. a good one. And guides and instructors. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, it's important to remember to do that. Don't litter. That kind of goes back to taking yeah. care of our lamb, Malama, Hawaii. Yeah. Um, here's, here's one. Don't forget to try something new. 
Yeah, it's a good you one. Know? And and I think that ties into food. Yeah, yeah. Our that, culture. That's going to be a do. Yeah, when get out get of to your the do's. get out of your comfort a little bit. Yes. What about skydiving? Have you ever skydived? Oh yeah. Really? I've done it twice. I've never done that. Uh, I, should, I should get out of my comfort zone. I think. Yeah, I wouldn't do it again. Really? I skydived and I bungee jumped. I wouldn't do it again. No. I did it and I done it. All right. I'm done with it. I think that's some of the ones I have on my list. Uh, yeah. Some of the don't leave valuables in your vehicle. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it, we're still, uh, you know, we have, Hawaii has its issues, and there's a lot of people that are not from here. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, theft is a, is a problem. I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie about that. Yeah. But it's good to keep all your valuables out of your, especially if you're renting a car. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that, not to say that's going to happen, but I think that would be probably a good idea in any destination Anywhere you're go. going, you know, I mean. Anywhere you go. All right. Let's talk about some dues. Yes. All right. So a port and do, one that's right in your lane is food, right? Yeah. Eat local food. Eat local. I think uh, people get caught up, especially if you're staying in uh, urban areas like Waikiki or Honolulu in general. Uh, people like to go to these chains. Why would you go to a chain you if know. you can get it at home? Yeah. Go support the local businesses. That's right. We have some great restaurants, mm-hmm. award-winning restaurants. Yeah, and we have such a plethora yeah. of foods, you know, Hawaiian food, Korean, barbecue, poke. Japanese, Chinese, yeah, you name yeah. it, we got it. E- e- eating local, I think, is one of the surest ways to experience authentic Hawaii. And Hawaii's food is really made up of the plantation days, you know, the plantation days between 1800 and... 1940s and 50s, all these immigrants came to work here, and we got some amazing restaurants from them. Mm-hmm. Old ones. Yep. Classics. Classics. I mean, and that's something you definitely want to include. Is yes. Some local Please food. Please do. And you have a food tour that people take can go on. Take a food tour. Yeah. So, you know. We can educate you on all that. Yeah, you'll take them out. And they got to come with an empty stomach when they do it. For sure. Because you feed them a lot of food. All right. Don't do some touristy stuff. I know some people ask me a lot about, should I really do a luau? And I tell you, a luau is one of the, the only touristy things that I kind of think I people think should do. I'm the same way. If you've yeah. never been to one, you should experience one yeah at least experience yeah one. and they're very unique and bruce um, can help you with our with our favorites yeah yeah we have some favorites we'll get into that in our shows yeah. you know we're gonna be talking about activities you know i'm glad you guys are here because this show is going to evolve yeah and we're going to be bringing you some of our favorite things to do in hawaii which a lot people ask us people ask you every day All what to do um i would say go snorkeling definitely get in the water must you know they they say from um uh, malka to makai right yeah you know from the mountain, mountain to to the ocean. To the ocean. You know, that's a good way to frame your Hawaii vacation is yeah. to remember to do that. Some people just end up Makai. Some yeah. people just end up Malka. And some people just stay in the pool. Please don't do that. <laughs> you got to go and experience the ocean. You got to go and experience the hiking. And uh, we have so many cool things to see. Yeah, one quick one. And then I think we got the deal of the day. I wanted you to tell yes. people about that. But one more uh, quick one is definitely take in some of our history here in Hawaii. Iolani Palace. Must. USS uh, Missouri. Yes. And the um, Pearl Harbor. And, Pearl Harbor and all must. of that. It's unforgettable, and it, it's, it's, it's the reason why it's the, it is the most popular. Activity. We have some great history here, and the, it's young history, but it's amazing. Yeah, on all the islands, and we're yeah. talking. This is on Oahu, but all the islands have some There's great history. Something and, to see, and we can help you. So, Lanai, what's the deal? Let's talk about the deal of the day. Yeah. Every show on this podcast, we're going to give you a deal of the day or the deal of the week, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a promo code. This is very important. It's Hawaii. That's the promo code for this deal. Um, you can receive up to two hundred dollars. Uh, off your next Hawaii vacation. The deal includes a $100 uh, activity credit, which you can use for any activities. We have some good ones. Yes. We have a Circle Island tour, a food tour, Hawaii Five O tour. Um, we got all kinds of excursions. Up to $100 on any vacation package, too. Right. All right. But you have to book value at $1,500, yeah, which, which is, is very easy. easy. Yeah, yeah. That's so easy to do. Get for on the deal of the week right now. All right. Once again, it's Hawaii is the promo code. That's right. Pretty easy, huh? Pretty easy, yeah. There you go. Save some money with us. Yep. And just fill in that promo code, and then you're going to get an email back with all the details. Yeah. And the dates and times and the eligibility for it. Yes, for sure. Excellent. Yes, check it out. You can go to hawaiialoha.com slash promo. Yeah. Hawaiialoha.com slash yeah. promo. Hawaii-aloha.com. Yeah, hawaii dash aloha. So you have to have the dash in there. <laughs> yeah, the it dash says it on the screen. Just follow what it says yeah, on the screen. Just follow what's on the yeah. screen there. All right, so let's get into it a little bit about what it's going to be like for people coming in to Hawaii now that COVID is pretty much part of our lives. Okay. You know, um, one of the things that you have to remember is that you got to get tested. You have to. Right? And you got to get tested 72 hours from the last destination you traveled from. 
So if you're a last-minute traveler, this is going to be difficult for you. Yes. But if you were planning ahead, simple. Right. Because there's so many places now. When they first launched it, there was only like five or six places that you can get the COVID test. Now, when I say five or six places, it has to coincide with what the state partner We have with. a trusted yes. travel program. That's and that, what they call yeah, it. Yeah, and you can also go to our website, hawaii-aloha.com. We, we, we built a little calculator there. Nice. And, you know, you could just put in your uh, the last destination you traveled from, the time, and it tells you exactly what time to get that test if you can't do the math in your head. Because okay. it gets confusing. Yeah. It really does get confusing so some people you have to understand so if you're coming from new york to dallas dallas to honolulu it's 72 hours from that last destination to the minute right if you go late you're 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 you're, right. you're in trouble yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's important that you realize like a lot of people think okay i'm gonna go walgreens or cvs because those are the two biggest right but you have to check to make sure you can get an appointment because yeah. they say they'll say walk up so a lot of them will say walk up or it's free yes you walk up and they're like, oh, we're booked for the next week. So make sure you plan ahead and, That's you, so and true. you call and you check. I think there's a schedule now. Like if you go online, they have one of those scrolling schedules that says what's open. Yeah. And, and you know, we've been experiencing, you know, since this has happened, you know, I've pretty much had every scenario you can imagine yeah. of things that can go wrong. But I can promise you guys that. Most of the times things are going very smoothly yeah. and the, the, the program keeps maturing. And you talk about the travel, you know, the trusted travel partners. There's about, uh, I would say, nine now. They're getting better and better. It's becoming a system that is maturing yeah. over time. So it's yeah. really it's really becoming. Well, they, they update it like every three or four days. I see it getting better because yeah. I travel so much. I've been traveling during COVID. Right. And, it, and there's a lot of um, uh, places that you can go and get different types. So like now, you remember the throat one? Yeah, They're all the way, way the deep nasal. And then they do, now they have the, just around the nose one. Now you can get a kit and do your own. Yeah. So like Hawaiian Airlines, for example, you can now book a flight and then you can book a kit. Yeah, you can book a kit. And also another company that does it very well is Vault. Yes. Vault is, I think, one of the best ones. They've really jumped in and they've made it easy for people. Yeah. And the way the Vault system works is they overnight you the kit, you do the spit. It's a spit test. Uh -huh. um, it's NAT approved. Remember, it has to be NAT, N-A-A-T, CLIA approved test. They spit in the thing. Yeah. And you do it in Zoom. So they can make sure that you're really you're, spitting. You're watching, and, yeah. and they're watching you. And then you put it in. They yeah. send it back. And that's working really well. Like you said, the yeah. Hawaiian Airlines is partnering with a, with a test kit. So, you know, the thing about this is that it's getting easier. It's getting better. The system is getting more matured. And you're going to be fine. I this promise you. This is what you. I do. Okay. Okay, this so is every okay, time okay. I take a test, okay. the last test that I take, I carry it in my wallet. Uh, just, you know, you can also put, have it in your, in your iPhone, obviously. But this is the best way. Like if I see somebody approaching me, show I just that. take it out and it, it, it's my last, most recent COVID test. Let me see and that. And it says negative right over here. I haven't seen one of these yeah. yet. So that is my... Can I borrow I yours? From, I'm leaving town. No, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> because you're, they're going to check, double check with your name. So here's the second part of it when you come to Hawaii. You have to download the state app with, the, with your QR code. So there's going to be a little form and it's real easy to fill out. You fill it out. Um, do it before you get to the airport. Yeah. You fill it out. You, uh, they have a QR code for you. So once you get off the plane... When you get in that line to go check out, they're going to just scan your QR code and they're going to ask you for your COVID test and you're done like that. Yeah. If yeah. you don't have that loaded in your phone, it's a mess and it yeah. holds up the line and everyone gets mad at you. Yeah, because what they're going to do is they're going to make you get the QR code. Yes. So you got to go into another queue. And believe me, there's a lot of people coming in that don't yes. have this QR code. And they announced it 50 times on the plane to download the... The, your QR code and still people forget I don't know what, what the deal is <laughs> maybe they're knocked out I don't know what it is but just get it done before you go and you don't have to worry about it right right the other thing that people need to understand that uh, this is you know may or may not be the case when you get here but right now, if you need to travel in between islands, you've got to get tested between islands. So yeah. in other words, if you're going to fly from, you know, let's or to say, Lanai. yeah, to, to Lanai or Maui, and then you want to go to, to Kauai. You have to get tested again. Yes. But if you're coming to Oahu, you don't. Does no. that make sense to no, you? No, it doesn't. Is it, does it make sense to you? Well, you're okay. getting because you're getting tested from the mainland. Oh, to the here. whole idea, whether yeah. it makes sense or not. But no. if but if you're on any other island and you come to Oahu, you yes. don't need to get tested again, which makes sense to me because 
those islands probably don't have much COVID on right. them. You've already been tested. So if you come to Oahu, but the other way around, you have to get yeah. tested. Hopefully, as again, things, you know, things improve and yeah. vaccine comes along, you won't have to do that. But I just want to say there are people who think they can get by the system. Don't do that. Yeah. We're going back to what we talked about and respecting Hawaii, just get it done. You know, if you don't believe in it, it just get it done if you want to come here. Yeah. Make your life easier, I tell you, because they're arresting people. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and and we really want you to do that. Thanks for reminding people that, because yeah. I think that's the most important thing. Don't think you're going to get on the plane and come here yeah. and just wing it. Uh, you say you're going to go into quarantine and then don't go. You'll get you sent know. home and you'll be on the news. Yeah, there's people <laughs> watching. <Yeah. laughs> All right, well, that's great. Great information. Thank you, Lanai. Thank you. That's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up for all of us here at Hawaii Aloha Travel, my beautiful wife, Yaling, and all of our team members. I want to say aloha and mahalo. Mahalo.